sorry I'm late, uh, but it's great to meet you finally. Yeah, you too. Do you have a problem finding this place? No, I just have a lot of family responsibilities. It bogs me down. I, I, I can't ever seem to get out of the house exactly when I need to. But I feel bad. I was going to buy your coffee. What about a dessert? No, no thanks. I'm not a sugar eater. I don't know about you, but I have been on a ton of these coffee dates. I could be considered a professional. So you're in good hands with me. So just relax when I say this. Um, we both know that you can tell if there's chemistry or not when you first meet a person, like within seconds, right? Yeah, I guess. Well, there's no chemistry here. I'm not trying to be mean. Um, I'm just trying to be fair and, um, and make sure you're not wasting your time. I'd love to sit and talk. I mean, I'm sure you're an interesting person, um, but if you want to leave, I'll understand. Oh, well, hmm. Uh, well, I, yeah, okay. I mean, I guess that, I mean, it takes a load off. I don't have to make an impression or, uh, you know, look cool or anything. I, and good for you for saying that so quickly. That's honest, you know, and it's true. I don't feel that either, that spark. What, I mean, it has nothing to do with the way you look. I mean, you're obviously a great looking woman and you, you know, your blue, you know, clothes are, I mean, your hair is beautiful. You wash it or something. I mean, it looks fashionable. You know, it's like, I'm sorry, this is just stupid. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. I was gonna say the same thing. I mean, do you wash your hair a lot so much that it's clear? <laughs> Yeah, I like that. <laughs> or maybe you dye it shiny pink. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Oh, maybe you just part it down the middle. Yeah, everybody has their little quips about it, you know. No, 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 no. I mean really part it in the middle, like Moses has been walking on your head. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. That's, that's very funny, by the way. And it, you know, if we were dating, maybe red flag, a little mean, perhaps. I'm not sure. But anyway, it takes the pressure off of my stupid comment. The whole thing, this pressure-free, this conversation, that's a beautiful thing that you, you know, dashed our chances of being together, you know, before we had a chance. Well, we don't have to keep talking about that. And by the way, I really don't mind bald guys at all. Well, we have that 12-year age difference. Is that what bothers you the most? Me? No. I mean, it must not bother you either. I mean, isn't that what most guys want? Someone younger, sometimes a lot younger than them? No, no, not me. That would be just nerve wracking. Somebody a lot younger. I have to worry about how much gray is showing and if I'm smiling and wrinkles are happening. I, I, and then we all have this flappy neck business going on. Ugh. Oh, I don't think I have that yet. Well, your profile said that you're an interior designer. That, that, that's really cool. Is, are you a freelance or you work for a company? I work for this little place on Crescent Boulevard. It's great. I really love it. And you're a web designer, right? Yeah, and it's not great and I really don't love it. It's boring and tedious. So what'd you do before the internet came along? Uh, a juggler. A what? Uh, juggler. Oh. Uh. So what family responsibilities do you have that keep you running late? Well, I'm raising a teenage son and taking care of my debilitated mother. She's had some strokes. Oh, so you're running back and forth from your place to hers? No, my mom stays with me. She stays with you at your house? No, she stays with me at her place. Oh. Okay, so let me ask you, if you were knee deep in mother and son duties, why do you want a girlfriend? Isn't that just adding to the pile of customers you'd have to please? Well, I'd like some adult companionship, but she'd have to be okay with me not having much time. I think most women who have grown children, or almost grown, really want someone who's very available. I mean, personally, I want somebody to travel with. 
So your son lives with you and your mom? Yeah, he's kind of a handful. He's one of those defiant types. So you have two kids, right? Yes, yes. Um, my daughter is away at college, and my son is a junior in high school and a pouty malcontent. Oh, I bet your mind can outpout yours. <laughs> is there such a thing as a teenager who isn't a monster? Mine wants to be a professional video game player. Mine wants to be a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd beat you at this contest. <laughs> what does he rap about? Well, I don't know much about rap. I guess people rap about what they know. So I suppose he's going to rap about being loved too much by his parents and going to private schools. Being coddled and driven to play dates. Yeah, growing up on the mean streets of Gardens Parkway Court. <laughs> I have come up with this perfect way to punish your teenager. You know what you do? What? You stare at them. They hate it because they're so self-conscious. <laughs> That's genius. Mm, makes them so uncomfortable. Uh, you know, we make fun of these millennials because of their participation trophies and whatnot, but the ones that I know that are in their 30s, they're really smart and they seem to work hard. Mm, they're sensitive, very sensitive too. Well, look how we raised them. We hovered over them and protected them from everything. Yeah, because we didn't want them to be raised the way we were. I mean, we were out running free like the animals. It was like Lord of the Flies in my neighborhood. Exactly. I, it was dangerous. I mean, there was like a handful of times I should have died. <laughs> Even the dogs were running wild out in the street. Chasing us on our bikes. But you know what? It made us resilient and kind of tough. It's true. We do know how to shake things off and carry on. These millennials can't do that. But they're sensitive, and, and that's good because they 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 treat each other as equals. And I think that's, you know, the cool thing about them. They're into the social justice and it's like they're saying, hey, the way you guys have been doing things is not quite working, so move over. It's our world now. Yes, we've raised them so gently that we actually produced a generation of civil human beings. That's right. They're great because we made them that way, because we are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> People are always making fun of people that shop at Walmart, but what about the employees? I mean, some of them act So I had this dream that I was a superhero, and my only power was that I could turn left on red. <laughs> my oval crock pot was built with only three legs. What is up with that? <laughs> I'm not even sure what's coming next. What is with, so? like, everybody's hell-bent on achieving happiness? Like, what's the deal with that? There's a philosophy that happiness is just the lack of pain. Well, what about that? I don't know, I guess I'll just go with whatever the dictionary says about it. You know, if you're not happy, like, it's really nice if you still have a parent that's alive because you turn to dear old mom and dad because they're wise, you know. I could just say to my mom, like, mom, I'm, I'm feeling a little low. I need you to tell me something motivational. I should probably tell you to move out. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta take my son job hunting. So this has been great. Yeah, it's been wonderful talking to you. If you ever want to do it again. Good luck with your profile in online fishing. Really? Yeah, this was really nice. I mean, okay, all right. Very nice to meet you. Too. Drunk moon, bleeding yellow light. It guides my path to you tonight. I've got a better Smoke idea. Smoke or breath, it's too cold to tell. My heart beats the rain. I think the most successful love stories in our lives are with our families whether blood-related or the family we create for ourselves out of friends or even pets. No rejection there. Why does the one have to be one person? It's comforting to be with our little gang, our tribe. I felt bad for kind of making fun of Daniel for wanting to be a rapper. I mean, his life is not ideal, especially his family life. 
none of us are without our pain, and rap is sometimes like pissed off blues, isn't it? We should all be rappers. 